And now back to Focus on Diversity with Troy Shaw. And welcome back to the program. We are having a very deep discussion about the state's RFP process, request for proposals, and how they relate to minority businesses and their growth in this in this community. Now, I have Adonica Randall and Eric Sidnor, two prominent business individuals here in the Wisconsin area. Now, the governor, Governor Jim Doyle, has has basically set up a task force after uh, state representative Jason Fields basically cried foul about not about the state not meeting its 5% requirement on minority involvement, the governor created a task force field of individuals uh, to help the process. Adonica, when I say that to you, what do you, what do you think? Well, I think it's um, about time. Okay. Somebody needs to look into the process. Um, the question is, um, when you set up these types of things, what authority will they really be given in the end to make changes that are necessary? It's obvious that there's, there's serious problems there. Um, the state, I've gone to many um, uh, open houses, uh, whatever, where the state buyers are theoretically there, and I've been told with a lot of my competitive counterparts, that type of thing, well, you guys are too small for us to really do business with. Mm -hmm. Now, the process is not in sync with the verbiage that they're putting out on the street about the uh, trying to get to this goal. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, the process they have in place uh, and doesn't match the intent of what it is they're trying to go about doing. And it, it's pretty obvious to all of us who are on this side of the fence. Yeah, now, now, Eric, when I come to you and I say, you know, people who may be watching my program could say, you know what, this is just a bunch of brothers and sisters on there crying foul, saying, you know, saying spilt milk is there when it's actually not, trying to pull the race card yet again. What are your thoughts on that? It's just business. Mm -hmm. My thought is whether it's a task force for Wisconsin, whether it's wanting to get into government contract work on the federal side. Uh, the reality is the three of us are trying to do something for our families, for our companies, for our employees. That's what gets me out of bed every morning. I mean, that's why I'm here today. Uh, you know, when your producers talk to me about the show, this is, this is where it's at. I mean, it's gotta, we've got to have a voice. So when you say task force, I say they didn't call me. I don't know if they talked to Adonica, called Adonica. I'm not even aware of these things, mm -hmm. okay? The reason I'm not is because I'm busy trying to determine what's my next avenue for revenue production mm -hmm. and profitability because that's the sustaining thing. You use the term prominent. I don't consider myself a prominent business owner in Wisconsin. This is where I live and work, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, on my out-of-Wisconsin project. Work. So, Donica, when he makes that statement uh, uh, in the fashion that he did, mm -hmm. you, you, you kind of have a double whammy here. Your whammy is, of course, you're an African-American, but you're also a woman. Mm -hmm. So it may be diff you may have a different perception on your company. What are, you, what are your thoughts? We've been very successful in the private sector. Uh, we've been successful uh, at the county level and the local level and, uh, with the public sector uh, and, and, and other public sector venues. Uh, the state in itself is unique because it talks a lot about doing something that's very insignificant. Mm -hmm. You know, the reality is, why should I have to be inside of a 5% uh, quota to begin with that's sitting out there when we're clearly capable of being a prime? I've been very successful more in the private sector doing business than I have ever been in the state in the state at the state level but isn't the state supposed to be designated to help and foster businesses to grow to help the economy grow i mean eric isn't, isn't that your thought i look at it pretty simply myself it depends everything depends on the situation that you're 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 in mm -hmm. and from my own perspective um i look at the types of opportunities that that show, mm -hmm. that show up, that come out in RFP, and you know they're trimmed so tightly mm -hmm. that if you have the sharpest of pencil as a as a company, let alone a minority company, if you have the sharpest of pencil and you're not one of the significantly large, already doing millions of dollars of work for the state in the state. 
the, the profits are so lean mm. that you, gosh, you, the worst thing that could happen to some of us is to get one of those projects awarded to us. <laughs> Adonica, is the RFP process right now a waste of time for you? I would, I would say, again, um, I go along with some of that. It depends. Some of those things that come down the pike, it's pretty obvious to some of us that those things are their requests for additional bidders to come in. The, the, the person that's going to be picked is pretty much uh, pre-known. Uh, the mm. margins, you know, he's right, are so lean on some of these things that uh, to expect in this economy mm. uh, to get um, good quality candidates to do the type of work that we do, mm. uh, you'd be hard pressed for any of us to do that. But with that being said, mm. I'd rather lose to anybody locally mm. um, than to continually keep losing to out of state uh, with no preference given for folks who are taxpayers okay. in this state. Okay, we got to go to a break real quick. But before we go, before we go, I have to ask this question. Adonica, have you ever won a state contract as a prime? No. Have you ever, Eric, have you ever won a state contract as a prime? I have not. No. And I can say my company, TDS Management Group, that has even coupled with Malik Communications, Michael Holt's company, has never won a prime, a contract with the state, as a prime. And when we come back, we're going to talk about what you can do a little bit more to help your business here in the state of Wisconsin. Stay with Focus on Diversity. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Andy Schlesinger, president of Andrew Toyota Scion. It's been said that word of mouth is the best form of advertising. With that in mind, I invite you to listen to what our customers have to say. Whatever I needed, the service was done um, in great timing and and I was totally satisfied. A few years back had extensive damage to one of my vehicles and fortunately the body shop did such a nice job you couldn't tell it from new. I was very pleased. Andrew Toyota Scion, 15th and Silver Spring, where customer service is not a department but our passion. <laughs> 